This coming June will mark the 30th anniversary of what scientists discovered and we now know as AIDS. And while it has been a devastating epidemic worldwide, there is one patient who is here in the Bay Area who may have become the first person in the entire world to actually have been cured of the disease. CBS 5 reporter Hank Plant covered the early years of the AIDS epidemic for this TV station, and Hank is back with us now to bring us an exclusive story, the first TV interview with the Berlin patient. Yeah, Alan and Dana, this is fascinating. You know, I've always been reluctant to use the word cure in an AIDS story until now. So meet the man who may have changed all that. His name is Timothy Ray Brown a 45-year-old man now living in the Bay Area who tested positive for HIV back in 1995, but who now has entered the scientific journals as the first man in world history to have his HIV completely eliminated from his body. It's what doctors call a functional cure. He was living in Berlin, Germany in 2007, dealing with HIV and leukemia, when scientists there gave him a bone marrow stem cell transplant that had astounding results. I quit taking my HIV medication on the day that I got the transplant and, um, and haven't had to take any since. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, the leukemia came back unfortunately, um, about a year later. And so I got another transplant from the same donor in 2008 and uh, in February. And uh, luckily, both things have been absent. Leukemia mm -hmm. and AIDS. Right. Gone? Right. Cured? Yeah. Thank you. yeah. All right, thank you. In fact, his only medical problem these days is one involving his speech and motor skills because of neurological damage after the treatment. But that's getting better. So how did this happen? The Berlin patient received stem cells from a donor who was immune to HIV. In fact, about 1% of Caucasians are immune to HIV. Some say it goes back to the Great Plague. People who survived the plague developed an immunity, and that immunity was passed down to their heirs today. Do your doctors say that you're cured? Um, yeah, they do. And the medical journals? They do as well. Cured? Right. Am I looking at the first man in world history to be cured of HIV? I think so. What do you think about that? It makes me very happy. Very, very happy. Needless to say, Timothy is now being monitored by doctors at San Francisco General Hospital and here at UCSF, where we sought out a medical opinion from one of the most respected AIDS researchers in the world, Dr. Jay Levy, who was one of the co-discoverers of the HIV virus. If you're able to take the white cells from someone and manipulate them so they're no longer infectable by HIV, and those white cells become the whole immune system of that individual, you've got essentially what we call a functional cure. A functional cure. That's what the Berlin patient tells us. We also sought out a medical opinion from Dr. Paul Volverding, another pioneering AIDS expert who has studied the disease for all of its 30 years. The Berlin patient's a fascinating story. It's not one that can be generalized. You don't want to go out and get a bone marrow transplant in the, in the bone marrow transplant procedures themselves carry a very r real risk of mortality. One element of his treatment, and we don't know which, allowed apparently the virus to be, uh, to be purged from his body. So it's going to be an interesting, I think, productive area to study. They say he's cured. Well, knock on wood. He hasn't had any uh, recurrence now for several years, I think, of the, of the virus. Um, and that hasn't happened before in our experience. Never happened? Never. Timothy Brown's radical procedure may not be applicable to many other people with HIV because of the difficulty in doing stem cell transplants and finding the right donor. But this one case does open the door to the field of cure research, which is now gaining more attention. Here at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, they are now using the word cure after so many avoided it for decades. You sort of felt like you couldn't say cure for a number of years. Uh, scientists and clinicians and people living with HIV alike felt like that was a, a sort of promise that was never going to be realized and it was dangerous to direct a lot of energy towards it. And now? And now things have shifted. Yeah. 
shifted toward the hope that the Berlin patient brings to all of us. I'm cured of HIV. I had, had HIV, but I don't anymore. Words that so many in the scientific community are now cautiously clinging to. Now, the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine is now funding stem cell cure research here in the Bay Area based on this one case, on Timothy's case. They're trying to replicate his success for broader populations of people with HIV. The goal, of course, is to begin uh, clinical trials, which could uh, come next year. And Alan and Dana, this really is an amazing breakthrough. We Absolutely hope. phenomenal. And I mentioned that in the beginning that you covered AIDS from the beginning. You've never stopped covering it. So the, this 1% who are immune right. because of their ancestors in the, in the plague, they didn't even know it. It's, they, fa they it's, no it's fascinating, isn't it? I mean, it goes back to the Great Plague. This is the prevailing theory. And the people who survived the Great Plague in the Middle Ages, their heirs now appear to be immune to HIV. They don't have the gene. It's called a Delta 32 deletion. They don't have the gene in their body that is the doorway way to HIV. Wow. Such a promising discovery. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Hank. See, we'll you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Yeah, Good. Thank you very much.